Hello and welcome to Hops and Bros. This week, Chris is technically out of town, out of country. I'm like a ghost. Now. Yet, with the magic of of cinema, yes. he's standing right next to me. So uh, this is actually a green screen. Yeah. Uh, Chris is in Iceland right now, filming live, and he's a hologram. It's, he's it's a hologram. A, it's, I'm all, uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Okay, we had some, <laughs> some filming to catch up, so this has been filmed uh, the week before I left for Iceland. It's still a magic of cinema, so it still works, right? You want to you know something super magic? Please, please, let Why me know. Why do we have this beer right here? Uh, we receive this... Uh, it's the Nordic Skull Goes from Collective Arts. It's a collaboration with a Kex Brewing, Kex Brewing in from Iceland, Iceland, in Reykjavik. But I saw that in Reykjavik. Well, then uh, in general, I think when they announced their collaborations through the years, uh, through the year, Collective Arts, and I was like, I gotta get my hands on this beer before leaving for Iceland. They released it in Toronto, not here in Ottawa. What a shame. But, but we've got contacts. We got contacts, but also like I saw it on Instagram and I instantly commented, I. I have to drink this beer. Yeah. And Chop Mechanic on Instagram, really great guy, just okay. Go uh, follow him on Instagram, by the way. Stop the video right now, go on Instagram, go follow him, and then continue the video right exactly. now. Then he got in touch with me, <laughs> prepared a box the day I got in touch with him and set it <laughs> off. So it's right now in our glasses. I'm really excited. I already also said on social media that I, I'm like, right now, what I want to drink is a goes, and there it is. So I really look forward to it because I'm living in like four days. So let's jump in this little beer. Feels super light on the color. It is very it's light. Yeah, really for sure. nice. Nice little like uh, puffy head on top. So Collective Arts, we've already talked about them uh, and nauseum. It's it's one of our favorite breweries, especially for the branding. Branding on point. Also for the work they do in the artist community, just it's phenomenal. I mean, just the fact that. Uh, they just changed the artwork of their bottles every, or cans I should say, every once in a while with new artists to be able to showcase their art. Fucking phenomenal. Now, to add to that, they actually did a collaboration with Kex Brewing, as we were saying earlier, uh, which is actually a hostel in Iceland. Are you going to try to hit it up or? Uh... Uh, unfortunately, I won't hit it up. I'll okay. probably hit the bar instead. Because I am okay. renting my own van. Oh, you're going to rent a van to go so through. I'm sleeping in a van. Through the whole 10 days in Iceland. Fuck, that's awesome, man. That's really awesome. Yeah. And I'm going to try out as much beers as I can. But not drive. Your girlfriend's going to drive and you're going to drink. Exactly. Because yeah, responsible. Probably just park in the parking, drink, then sleep, then go off. Then go off to the next brewery. Yeah. That's the way to do it. That's that's kind of the plan. Yeah. But this goes really nice. Um, on the nose, feels a little bit floral. Uh, you get the hints of a little fruitiness, a little bit of lemon. But as is much. usually traditional with that style, but not quite exactly. as much as you think. But when you drink it, it feels really light, and it's the less sour goes that I've drank. So less sour and less salty as well. Exactly. Usually and a lot more salt. You do have that saltiness, and you do have a bit of that uh, sour acidity, but it's not quite as high as others that I've had, um, which is not a bad thing. Yeah, it feels really refreshing yeah. for a goes. Uh, the the, um, the saltiness and the sourness is not that pungent on the, on the tongue. So it really feels a bit more fruity on the fruity side. You get a little bit of the um, like the sweetness to it, not too much. Like it's a it's a well balanced ghost, and uh, like we're getting to into this style because we do really like ghosts here I'm on Lapsan Big Rose. fan of ghosts, yeah, for sure. So seeing different interpretation of a ghost is really exciting for us. And yeah. This one is really is re really different from what we already tried. Well, because I mean we've tried a bunch of different goes, or at least I have, where there was one that wasn't even uh, salty at all. You have to add your own salt. So there, there's a million ways to serve a go, seen as it's a very old style. And if you want to know more, well, we had a video last Tuesday. So what gives? You didn't watch it? Then watch it and you don't know what's a goes. Well, then, then, then just, go back. Just click. Just it's going to be back. somewhere. Just click in the box. We're not allowed right to, to click it right now. But no, but but you can anymore. still find it. Yeah, it's uh, easy to find. It's on the channel. Yeah, it's on the channel. Yeah, for everyone, you don't know what it is. It's a great show that we've been doing for um, a very, very, very long time. Yes. Yes. Uh, and everything is is a question of perspective in life. <laughs> Speaking of perspective, my perspective on this beer is that it's completely refreshing. Yeah. Really nice. Feels. Uh, Super refreshing at the same time. I, I, I just said refreshing, refreshing like times. fourteen times. That's fine. Yeah, um, the carbonation is kind of low. 
Yeah, a little uh, bit, yeah. But, it but, does, but the mouthfeel is still pretty good. The mouthfeel is really nice, and it look at it, it feels really it's a light. Hazy. For what it's, it's very light, but it's you see the bubble. It's it's a nice yeah. looking beer. I, I like the details, <laughs> and like there's there's kind of a perfection into this one, and uh, I look forward into drinking more beers uh, out there in Iceland. Um, so far, it's a good introduction. I like uh, like now I'm in the bathtub, you know. About the craft beers in Iceland? I, You're like, in the math thumb with the craft beers in Iceland. Yeah, it's like it's a French saying, like, soldat by, you do it, like. Oh, okay. Again, we were talking about this earlier where some expressions really yeah, don't translate. Yeah, I know, it doesn't turn well, but that's, <laughs> that that, that's what I wanted to say, right? <laughs> So now that I'm in the you're, bathtub, you're jumping in. You're, you're yeah. I'm jumping in it, in 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 in, and I do really uh, like it so far. And uh, con congratulations to Collective Arts for all all, all their great beers awesome and beer, to yeah. be able to uh, collab with a brewery from Iceland and do something that's really f phenomenal. So cheers to them. Really, really little note at the same moment. Yeah, uh, Iceland beer was prohibited until 19. 19- 89. Oh wow. Yeah. So they just got access to beer. Yeah, and they well, just, just. They don't know why oh. it was prohibited. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. And now <laughs> they have it, so. <laughs> but one thing you sure do know is that you like the video, you subscribe, and also, big thing, big thing, we haven't, like, we just hit 150 subscribers. That's true, yeah, yeah, we did. We just did that today, so. Yeah. Run of applause. Applaud ourselves. Uh, Everyone, okay. everyone, everyone for, for supporting okay. us and supporting the craft beer community at the same moment. I think we're doing su something really cool for the community. You guys are doing su super cool stuff to support the community at the same moment. So uh, it's really appreciated. So a big thank you, a huge cheers, and to many more reviews with us and bros. Cheers.